Hello. This is actually the third attempt that I have taken to put this blog up online because I keep gabbling and making no sense and tripping over my words. So here goes, and I'm hoping that this one will be better. The first thing I wanted to say was that earlier today I was watching Russell Howard's Good News. Um, it's a program that's put on BBC Three, although I was watching it on iPlayer. Um, which basically just has a bit of a laugh at stuff that's weird and wonderful things that are happening in the news and current events and whatnot. But they have this one little section towards the end called It's Not All Doom and Gloom. And this is where I'm going to be all charitable advertising at you. Um, there was a girl on there called Kirsty Mills who has cystic fibrosis. And obviously it's pretty much a daily struggle for her to live. And not only is the amazing thing about her that she is planning her wedding at the moment. She's also a fitness instructor, which, you know, it's amazing just how this girl keeps going it's absolutely fantastic the way she lives her life and her outlook on everything is so positive and that reminded me earlier that i have one of these little doofuses which is an nhs organ donor registered donor card and what you can do is you can go online to www.uktransplant.org.uk and you can choose to donate some or all of your organs after your death to help improve the lives of other people who need it so you know you know the this body that I'm in right now is, is a gift in, in all sense that you know the, the, the Lord gave when He created me, and I can help to use that gift and give it to other people, you know, to help them improve their lives, you know, when when they need it most. So if you go onto that website, and then you can sort of just get further details there about how to join the NHS Organ Donor Register, and I'll send you this little card. So, you know, if I'm ever in a car crash or I get hit by a train when going over a level crossing or something or whatever, you know, they can find this in my purse and they'll know that I want to give my organs after my death to help improve the lives of, the lives of other people. So I really recommend that you go do that. And another thing that I'm going to do is finally tell the blood donation people that I have a change of address because I stopped giving blood when I started getting tattoos because you have to wait for ages and then I've moved house and I just couldn't be bothered with rules of rigmarole but you know it's not going to take me five minutes to go to www.blood.co.uk yes this is shameless plugging and I want you to go do it to give blood and you know what just you know you give about a pint of blood and that can you know save or change the life of another, life of another person so I really recommend that you go do it, and you know if you really need an incentive, they give you tea and biscuits after you've donated. There you go, win win. Moving on, today is the twenty fifth of March two thousand and eleven, and for those of you not in the know, this is the feast of the Annunciation of our Lord to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Yes, I said that correctly, Blessed Virgin Mary. Um, and as such, because it's a feast day, I might be being naughty and breaking with my Lenten fast, and I might be on Facebook. I am on Facebook. I'm sorry. I'm on Facebook. Um, and also, Chapel, we're being very naughty by moving the feast to Sunday so we can have a proper high mass, you know, song festival, Eucharist. Um, the choir are going to be there. We're going to have a serving team of four, so we're going to have the incense and everything out, and it's going to be it's going to be pretty epic. And after that, there is a chaplaincy lunch, so you should all come to Chapel this this Sunday. And um, once we once you've uh, had a fantastic time at the service and I had tea and biscuits afterwards, uh, you can come down to uh, Father Clifton's place and um, have a wonderful lunch with everybody. I am sadly not going to be there because I have a job, <laughs> a little party moment, I have a job um, at the MP and my induction is between one and three so you can always come buy a drink off with me if you like, if I'm allowed to serve drinks, I hope I am, but um, yeah so I'm going down to the MP. Um, and they're gonna they're hiring me part part time, full time. I don't know, I'm just gonna grab what hours I'm given, you know, make the most of the opportunity that's there. I don't mind working a little bit extra because in all fairness, what I do during the day is pretty much sit at home in front of the computer or sit outside chapel and read books. So I could be, you know, using that time to work. Um and yeah, so I'm going to be uh, a bar staff person, uh, if all goes well. I really hope it does because I have been out of a job now since well, I have my I've got my part time chaplaincy job, which I started in January. But before then, I've been out of a job since October, so it's quite nice to actually have a little bit more to fill up the time. And and it, it's it's definitely a bit of an ego boost. <laughs> I have to say that somebody out there wants to hire me, um, considering so many others didn't. So that was quite a nice feeling. It's quite a happy fine feeling. Um, and then I also have a job interview for the Bristol University Multi Faith Chaplaincy on Friday the first of April. 
Uh, my mum did tell me to double check that this wasn't a joke, and I'm fairly certain it is not because they sent me a very nice letter detailing what I'm meant to be doing and where I'm meant to go and when my interview is, um, which is at quarter to two in the afternoon. Be a bit weird if it was in the morning. Quarter to two in the afternoon on Friday the first of April. Um, nervous already. It's uh, it's, uh, it's only a week away, but um, I've been looking at their website and it just seems like a really really lovely place. I mean, I was up in Bristol a few weeks ago for IVDIV the InterVarsity Folk Dance Festival, where I basically spent three days in the Students' Union, not sleeping much, drinking a lot of tea, doing a lot of folk dancing, um, and generally having an absolutely wonderful time. And Bristol, what I got to see of it was a really, really wonderful city. And the um, multi-faith chaplaincy there, I can draw a lot of similarities between it and um, Exeter, actually, um, because sort of they're there to help others, you know, explore their spirituality, their faith, um, giving, you know, personal support to students, supporting staff, supporting the university. And um like they just do so many events that it's not just sat behind a desk all day. Like you can actually help out with other stuff as well, which is what I really like about working at Exeter Chaplaincy is the fact that we do stuff like the cream tea event we did on Tuesday or the pancake party we did on Shrove Tuesday and um sort of all the it's not just admin. It's, it's yes, I'm an administrative assistant, but I'm not just doing admin. I'm up and about the place. I'm raking through filing cabinets and getting rid of old documents. I guess, but you know, it, it's nice to be up and moving about, like going down to the vestry. Even if I am just clearing out a filing cabinet, I'm not just sat behind a computer. And I also get to talk to students. I get to talk to staff. I get to interact with the other chaplains. I get to, you know, I'm learning so much about other faiths that I didn't know before. And it's just yeah and. I'm really enjoying it here, but obviously, you know, doing it in Bristol as well will help me to sort of broaden those horizons a bit more and learn about, you know, a different, a different university, a different chaplaincy, a different university, different faith, you know, helping out the staff, helping out the students. And I'm really enthusiastic about this. It looks like a really, really good role. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that they'll want me. Um, but, you know, we'll see because I'm one of six and, you know, there might be someone there better than me. You know, so, it's, you know, courses for courses, you know, we're all suited to different roles. So even if I don't get it, you know, it's cool. It's cool. I do really, really want it, but I'm not going to have too many hang ups if I don't. But, you know, we'll see. It's, it's, it's early days yet. You know, I haven't even had the interview. So if I'm blogging uh, Saturday next week and I'm in a right, right tizzy, um, well, <laughs> It's just going to be nice. Okay. So yeah, jobs. Things are things are looking up, and um, it's really nice actually because recently I've been just so down when like you apply for jobs and people don't reply to you, or you have an interview that you think goes really well and, and you don't get it, or you have an interview and you know it's gone badly and you know you haven't got it. It's a very roller coaster sort of feeling, but. Now that, you know, I've got, even though it's, it's just, an, I know it's just in a pub, but at the same time, it's, it's just a wonderful feeling to know that somebody out there does want to hire me. And it's it's really helped pick me up, actually. And the, having a, an interview at Bristol as well has really helped pick me up. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, really am. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Yes, next week. Um, what's happening? Monday, Methang, Methodist and Anglican Society. We are having an Easter egg hunt so excited um, as it's the last one of term and then we're also having a, a sleepover and sort of a DVD night which will be quite fun my sister who is coming down for my birthday on Tuesday um, my sister is arriving about half past eleven in the evening so I'll probably um, meet her at the station and drag her up to the chaplaincy rooms where we'll sleep on the floor and then in the morning I'm at a bit of a loss of what to do because we're probably all going to go up to morning prayer yes most of us will probably be in our pyjamas at this point because it starts at 8.30 excuse me um, so I don't know whether or not I'll just keep my sister company and then go to breakfast after they've all finished morning prayer or, or what, but we'll see what happens. Um, and then, 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 then what's happening? Then, yeah, probably into town to buy nibbly nibblies and other delicious foodstuffs for the party in the evening, which starts at seven. Um, and I've invited a load of people and the theme is invaders, so people should hopefully be turning up as computer viruses or as the British Empire or a Roman or a Viking or a pirate or something along those lines. Um, but the interesting thing is I'm going to be having the rapper sword dance practice in my house, which means five people, okay, the swords are blunt, but five people doing the sword dancey thing in my dining room, which should be very interesting. We'll see how that goes. 
Should be fine, should be fine. Um, and then sleeping late on Monday, and then in the afternoon, not on Monday, on Wednesday, what am I saying? Wednesday. Sleeping late on Wednesday, and then at 2.30 in the afternoon, I have a meeting with the Reverend Philip Sarbat, who is the Diocesan Vocations Officer. So I'm really excited about this. Um, basically just sort of a chat interview thing with him about um, ministry within the Church of England and how I can, you know, start going into all that. Um, and getting the ball rolling, essentially, sort of best foot forward, all those other cliched phrases you use in these instances, um, just setting off um, down that path, and um, hopefully it will be a good conversation, um, I'm going to think of a few questions to ask him, a few more, I've got quite a few buzzing around in my brain at the moment, so <laughs> um, and hopefully he'll ask me lots of questions as well, um, I'll just answer them truthfully and honestly, because that is the best policy, in all honesty, I'm not going to lie to the vicar. Um, so yeah, that's going to happen, I'm really excited about that. So, yeah, finally, and then um, the Diocesan Director of Ordnance, Becky Tossadell, is going to be coming to the um, Student Vocations Group uh, the first um, weekend in May, um, and that's a little group that we have running at Chaplaincy for people who are exploring um, a calling or a vocation, essentially. And she's going to come along and see us then, and I've heard she's a really, really lovely person, so I'm really looking forward to that as well. So I'm meeting all these exciting people, very exciting times, so I'm really, really happy. And then uh, so I think Thursday, morning prayer um, again, which is morning prayer, followed by tea and biscuits. And um, I might have to do some work for Clifton, I'm not entirely sure, but my, my next quest as a chaplaincy assistant is to find some benches, um, because... Lots of people come and sit outside chapel, um, sort of to have lunch or to read a book and just enjoy the sunshine. So I think he's getting some of those, um, you know, the benches with the tables, tabley benches attached. You see, the ones you get in pubs, I think you know, all know what I mean. Um, but I think he's getting some of them so people can just, like, enjoy the area outside chapel a bit more and then hopefully get more people in chapel, which would be lovely. Um, and just get one of those, possibly one of those boards, which those A boards, I think they're called, and just say the next public event in chapel is, and then... Even song or morning prayer or um, Eucharist, congregational or sung, that kind of thing. So, really looking forward to it. And then Friday is the job interview up at Bristol. Um, so, a little nervous. I am nervous already, but I'm just hoping that if I do enough research and if I'm just sort of. Uh, don't panic, essentially. As long as I don't panic, everything will be fine. Um, and perhaps sit down with Father Clifton and sort of ask him what sort of questions they'll ask me and whatnot. Should be good, should be good. And then Saturday, I don't think I have any plans for Saturday, really. Um, and then Sunday, yeah, everybody will be gone by then. Dad's coming to pick my sister up on Sunday and everybody else from the uni will be off on the holidays for Easter. It'll just be me. I'll live, I'm sure I'll live. Um, so yeah, all that's looking really enjoyable. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so next week is sort of last week of term, so everything's going to be all go, everything's going to be fun, fun, fun before the Easter break and then exams after that, so good luck to all the students, you guys are going to be fine, just revise, don't let it get you down, and if you want to rant or hang out, you know where I am, you've got my number and stuff, so yeah, it's all cool, it's all good, it's all exciting, um, and then obviously Isaac's going to come visit in May, I'm so excited about this, so excited! Really happy, really happy. I am full of bounce and joy over this occasion because when your fiance lives five thousand miles away, getting to see him for two weeks a year is like the biggest bonus you could ever get in the entire world. It's fantastic. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and there will probably be a lot of consumption of ribena and wine gums, and I've been told there might be some beef jerky in it for me. So <laughs> happy, happy days. Um. So yeah, I will update you uh, as to further developments in my life, um, and hopefully everything will be all go soon. Everything's everything's good. Happy days. So I will probably update again either later this week, text or video. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'll see you all soon. Over and out.